Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate. This is Big Los. And we're back in the Harbor Loop. We just came back from the Warrens. I saved you the walk after we just completed a mission in there. So let's head on back to... No, Salty Jack. Get away from me, drunken lout. Scurvy dog. Yeah, shut up. Anyways, what was I saying? Let's head on back to the Morningstar Haven and get another mission from Obid. But first, let's pop into Okuzo's Imports real quick. Since we have some money, let's see if we can afford anything. But, probably not, but it wouldn't hurt just to look. Now, would it? What the? Spider webs. And you're fighting a giant spider? Well, let's help out, help out huh? All right, killed it. Any treasure that it's gonna leave? Any glands? No. Okay, so why are there webs in here, and why was a giant spider attacking you? Hello. Thank you for your help, Anya Freya. The spider's threatened to destroy my shop. This is the doing of Dahlia Erdo, no doubt. Or we could ask for a reward. How about we do that? How about a reward? A reward? Oh, I had thought it a favor between friends. Forgive my presumption. I should have known better than to allow strangers to bring in unexpected delivery to my shop. With all the new business I've been doing, I've lost track of shipments on occasion. I knew this delivery had come from Dahlia Erdo when I read the invoice. Be careful what you import, it said. Before I could do anything, the boxes burst open, releasing the spiders. They could have killed me or worse, destroyed my shop. Yeah, destroying your shop would be worse than killing you, wouldn't it? What are you going to do about this? I must show Dahlia Erdo that I will not be cowed into selling my shop. I will not stoop to violence, but perhaps a little prank will demonstrate my resolve. What do you have in mind? Once in a while, the fragrances, the fragrances I import become tainted in transport. In such cases, I naturally throw the offending perfume away. However, there was one bottle recently that smelled so repugnant that I found myself strangely amused by it. I decided that it could be the key ingredient in a practical joke. In my spare time, I rigged the bottle so that it would crack when open, spilling the foul liquid all over. I see. And you want me to deliver this perfume to Dahlia. I would like you to deliver this perf perfume to Dahlia at the Erdo estate in the Market Triangle. I have heard her lover's name is Enrillo. Say it is a gift from him, and I am sure she will immediately sample its quality. Well, we could asked to go to the City Watch, but we've talked to the captain at the City Watch before, and he said that he's completely overburdened with paperwork. What's he gonna do, really? Alright, this could be fun. I wish I could be there to see her reaction, but I must tend my shop. If the delivery is made during business hours, she will not suspect me. Alright, show me your wares. That's what we came in here for. This helmet is... Well, I mean, it gives you immunity to fear, which is kind of useful, but... I don't know, that would wipe out most of our money. What about in the way of weapons? What's this, a katana? Yep. I don't think anybody in our group can wield that. See, you wouldn't take a plain shirt or Direct anything, me. would you? How about these? No, but you'll take this stuff. Evil beware. I am in charge now. Yeah, we'll sell this. If we can't sell these things anywhere, we might end up just dropping them. How much is this way? 
one pound. Absolutely. And Kidu's armor, I remember this thing. It was full plate. It's too bad it's so expensive. All right. I'm ready if you need me. On our way back to the Church of Lathander, the Morning Star Haven, why don't we segue over to the Erdo Estate, shall we? It's not that far from here. In fact, it's right over this little bump right here, but unfortunately, we're going to have to wait for a loading screen. And then after it's done loading, then we'll just run over there, deliver the goods, and then endure another loading screen on the way to the Church of Lathander. Yeah, these loading screens take the longest out of all the traveling. All right, here we are. Hey, it's you again. What do you need? I need to deliver something to Dahlia Erdo. It's from Enrillo. This wouldn't be some kind of trick, would it? I saw you arguing with Dahlia earlier. I wouldn't want to get into trouble for helping you pull one over on the little princess. Or we could try to bribe him if these don't work. Well, we do have a lot of ranks in this one. You show a surprising amount of concern for someone you don't like. Success. You have a point there. Why should I care if it's a trick? After all, I'm just doing my job, and we got 50 XP for passing that check. Very well, I'll bring her the gift with Enrilio's regards. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Kind of hard to see what's going on. I guess that's black fumes coming out. All right, so we lost the tainted perfume. I guess that little cutscene showed them get stunk up by it. All right, then I guess we'll return to Okuzo later. But first, Let's head on over to the arena district, shall we? Where's everybody? All right, you're all falling behind. All right, let's go over here, Morningstar Haven. And endure another one of these loading screens. I guess it's better than having the entire city loaded up. That would take a lot of memory, wouldn't it? Although, they could have done it like the Grand Theft Auto series. You know, where things kind of render off in the distance. Anyways, here we are. Let's go on into the church and endure another loading screen, shall we? And then when we leave, we're going to have to endure another one. That actually wasn't so bad. I greet you. You return. I hope you have some news to report. So tell Obid about the hounds and the strange sorceress. Then it would seem these hounds were ordered to kill the night mask at the behest of this mysterious woman. But enough of that. The Warrens are safe. Thanks to Obid Teltis and the church, the poor folk of Westgate can thrive once more. Hang on, you didn't lift a finger. You also deserve a share of the credit, of course. 
Here, take this token of gratitude for the role you played in this triumph for the church. I have another lead for you, Aenea. A night mask assassin has been uncovered by the city watch. However, this assassin's family is powerful and has pulled some strings to set him free. You can buy many things in Westgate, but decency isn't one of them, it seems. <laughs> Captain Fenish has asked you to head over to the City Watch barracks and speak with him about the matter. This is a great opportunity to bring more glory to the church and potentially discover more about your cursed mask, of course. Alright, I think that's about it, so farewell. Now we're going to head off to the City Watch barracks, which is right around the corner. But that also means two loading screens. So, could be an eternity could be shorter than that. All right. Oops. I don't want to close that door. Want to go out here and enter this building. All right. Not so bad. Mutters. Lack of evidence. I'll show them lack of evidence. Oh, uh, sorry, Ania. I'm just a little flummoxed right now. The council has ordered a murder released, and you're my only hope of doing something about it. But before I get into it, I should be thanking you for the tip on Sergeant Wickers. We found his corpse in the street, mauled by some sort of beast. We've been finding bodies in a similar condition for some time now. Most of them night masks. In any case, to my mind, this proves that Wickers was with the night masks after all. Since your word proved true, I figured you were trustworthy enough to handle this other problem I'm having. A help, but only if you ask nicely. There's no time for jokes. The murderer is making tracks as we speak. Less than a ten day ago, one of our finest guards got his throat cut while standing watching the market triangle. The assassin was so quick and silent that the guards on patrol didn't hear a peep. They found him dead while they were making their regular rounds. The poor man had a domino mask wrapped around his neck, meaning those damnable night masks wanted to send a message not to interfere with their activities in the district. Go on. The fool assassin was overheard bragging about the killing at a local tavern. We locked him up, figuring it was just a matter of time before we got the go-ahead to lop his worthless head off. Instead, we get papers from the Devil Merchant Council saying we have to release him. Lack of evidence, they say. What do they call three witnesses swearing to the fact that this wretch admitted to his crime? We suspect this murderer is the bastard son of some rich merchant here in Westgate. Maybe even one of the nobles. In any case, his father must have had enough pull with the merchant council to get him off the hook. Maybe the authorities honestly felt there wasn't enough evidence. And maybe the seven sisters will share a bed with me tonight. Nonsense. In any case, I have a plan that will prove whether this suspect is involved with the night masks or not. I want you to follow this man see where he takes you. He talked about the murder as being some sort of initiation right. That means he's a new night mask, one that hasn't learned to cover his trail as well. His name is Darius Falgar. If he's not hiding out, I'll, w I'll wager he's at a tavern right now, wetting his beak after three dry days of lockup. I know this Falgar youth. He's a regular at the Bent Mermaid. If we mean to hunt him down, we should start there. Of course! There's no telling how long he'll stay in sight. Which is why you should be out looking for him now. What am I supposed to do if I run into any night masks? Well, I wouldn't be disappointed if you killed them all. If you can't manage that, report back to me on their whereabouts and I'll send the guards to arrest them. Why can't the City Watch do this job itself? We 
don't have the guards for sneak operations like this. Besides, the council wouldn't like it if they heard we were going against their wishes and following this murderer. I'd rather keep this quiet, which means going outside the watch. Very well, I'll follow this, I'll follow this suspect for you. Good. Now get going. Report back to me when you found something out. And wait, I want to talk to you about something. What is it now? Nothing. All right, then. We're not too far away from the Bent Mermaid. Let's head on over there. We'll look for this Darius fellow. Oh, wait. No, don't want to close the door. Okay, so we want to head this way. So we'll just follow the street. Don't want to take any shortcuts because it could probably end up being longer. I think it's on the other side of this building. Yeah. Alright, let's look for this individual. There he is. If not for his fine clothes, this man would appear to be a typical street tough. I didn't know that was a noun. That's the Falgar, Falgar bot boy over there. He's the one talking to the serving wench. I've seen him around here before. So let's listen. Try to listen in on Darius Falgar's conversation. Success. Give me my mask tonight. I wonder if the Faceless himself will be there. Have you met the Faceless before? I thought he was only a character in street theater. I haven't met him yet, but it's only a matter of time before my work catches his attention. I just hope he doesn't ask me to become one of his lieutenants. I enjoy killing too much to move into a management position. Could be a while before this fool decides to leave. I think we can safely watch him from that table over there when you're ready. What table? Are you actually pointing at something? No. Listen in. That's your plan? To listen in? I don't think so. Let's just go demand the answers from him. And when he says nothing, because that's what's going to happen. That's what my fist is for. Oh, by the gods. Naturally. Alright, so... If we don't go along with Charissa and just say we're just going to listen, we're going to lose influence with her. If we say, let's go talk with him, we'll gain one point of influence. And nothing will happen with the other two, so there's really no downside to saying, yeah, let's go talk to him. That's the right choice, and yeah, fortune, as they say, favors the bold. All right. Let's try to steal something from him. Oh, he must have a lot of money on him. I've got 33 gold pieces. Let's see if he's got any more. 34 gold pieces. We could probably do this all day. I guess the hardest part is hearing them beg for mercy. Not that I feel sorry for them. I just hate to see pathetic fools in such a state. I hear that they wet themselves when they die. Is that true? Only if you strangle them. I never strangle mine. Just for that reason. No, I prefer a good old blade too. And now we got a point of influence. Excellent, Nia. Yeah. Let's put the screws to this ne'er-do-well. Um, what are you doing standing there, woman? Can't you see I'm trying to have a private conversation? I wanted to ask you a question. The only question I want to hear tonight is, would you like another ale, sir? Yeah. Do you want another ale, love? 
It was just a figure of speech, Winch. I'm good for now. Such a tender exchange. I'm touched. Now hit the road, Tootsie. We need to talk with a tough guy here. Look, witch, I'm not interested in whatever it is you have to say. I got in trouble last time I talked too freely with someone I didn't know. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Satisfied? You again. Look, I don't know you, and tonight is not a night for making new friends. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to listen anyway. In the meantime, we can steal all we can from him. Do you have anything to say about it? Greetings in the name of T. Uh, no. What about you? Hello, friend. It was a mistake to return to Westgate. I see that now. I was prepared for the night masks I knew, not, not what they have become. Anyway, you wanted to ask me about something? Nah, it's all the same thing as before. What about you? Well met. No. Honestly, I don't know how long it's going to take for this guy to up and leave so we can follow him. Is there a table that we can click on where we can sit at? I don't see any. Alright, well I guess we'll just keep robbing this guy. I don't know, maybe we're supposed to like stand away from him? Could be. Alright, I think he's out of money now. That got less than 20. And of course I had a failure. Let's try one more time. Okay, he's got nothing. Why don't we... Oh, empty table. Here we go. Yep, this'll do. I'll buy us a round. We can nurse our drinks while we keep an eye on Falgar. By the time the boy leaves, he'll be too drunk to notice us following him. So we'll sit down at the table and wait for Darius Falgar to leave. Wench, bring me some more wine. Wench, I'm waiting. Let's wait. Then the halfling says to the dwarf, A bit short today. Short, get it? Uh, short, it's a joke. Car. Ah, oh, come on. Why isn't anyone laughing? Alright, let's wait some more. Fah, my glass is empty again. Winch! More wine. <clears throat> Burp. 99 bottles of wine in the well. Take one down, pass it around. Burp. How long is this going to take? <laughs> Last, I'm late. Alright, let's wait for Darius to leave. Alright, there he goes, so let's follow him. And we took all of his money, too. Let's see where this leads. Nice windmill. Looks like he just disappeared. Okay, it put us over here by the Corme Rule Company sheds. So I guess there's an entrance around back here, huh? Alright, let's go on in. Looks like we're in an entry room somewhere. 
door here. Well, we might be headed into an encounter, so let's put on a couple buffs. It'll last for about nine minutes, I figure. That one. That one. That one. Sorry, come Shield of Fates on everyone. Sorry, come I'll take the lead. Holy competence! Holy competence! All right, that gives you an extra point of AC. Holy I'm leading. I think I deserve an extra share of the loot for this. All right, that should do it. All right, so we got two doors over here, and then we got Darius and two initiates. Any other things that we can click on? No treasure chests? Alright, let's talk to him. Good morning, initiates. Welcome to my shed. Apologies for the humble setting. I wish we could gather somewhere more befitting this momentous occasion, but we criminals must accept indignity such as this from time to time for the sake of secrecy. It is also for the sake of secrecy that I will not introduce myself by name. As you can probably tell, I am no Night Mask. Rather, I belong to an organization known as the Fire Knives. We Fire Knives are stalwart allies of the Night Masks and often serve as advisors in the art of assassination. You will learn this well after your initiation. Yes, the initiation. You might not survive it, I'm afraid. You see, the Night Masks sometimes wish their applicants to be sorted out through a very rigorous process. Ha! As if the Night Mask would have this slot. They'll all get sorted out through the rigorous process off my blade. Of my blade. Now, now, let's not be pessimistic. The Night Mask have deemed this group questionable. But perhaps one or more will prove them wrong. I don't understand. I thought we were just here to get our masks. You'll get your mask if you can win a simple game. A simple but dangerous game. You see, to gain membership in the Night Masks, you, initiate, you initiates must navigate your way through this warehouse and arrive at the front entrance. The dangerous part is due to the Night Mask assassin standing behind me. They won't be idle while you are sallying forth. Which reminds me, Night Masks, I believe it is time to take your positions. Wait, I want the merchant's son now before someone else gets him. Hmm? Where's the sport in that, Variac? Oh yes, this is the one who has been taking credit for your kill, isn't it? Very well, do as you must. You understand that this does not count toward your tally, however. What are you doing? Wait! That's right. Cower like the craven dog you are. Alright, with that business out of the way, we can get started. Night mask to your posts. Initiates on your guard. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't bother trying to leave the way you came in. You'll only waste precious time. The way has been barred. Great. Why can't we move? Oh, now we can move. So he has a Stein, adamant, adamantine longsword that probably could come in handy, and 201 extra gold pieces we didn't steal from him. Alright, so we got a bunch of assassins here, so we might want to go into stealth mode. Okay, those guys are handling this one. I guess we should handle this one. Let's see if we can get the sneak attack going. I will destroy. 
Did we kill him? Yeah, got him. Almost 400 XP for that, too. Wow. Why aren't you attacking? Someone got a critical hit? Certainly wasn't me. These guys have a lot of HP, don't they? Alright, silver necklace. Oh yeah, he had a stun. I guess we'll take it. And then we'll... Oh, I'm overloaded. I'm taking the stein. Alright, you hold on to that long sword. Get these. Probably sell them. What is this? Studded leather plus three. Oh, wow. I'm overloaded. Yeah, no kidding, you're overloaded. You could take that. Let's see how much of a boost we get from this. I am not in combat. Well, I guess it's just gonna have to wait. Could be treasure. Oh, there, are, there is treasure over here. But we got traps, and something's happening over here. Let's examine the trap. Effortless. DC is eleven. Let's try to recover it. If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Why don't you just... Oh, look at all these traps we can... Oh, oh we my goodness, really they weigh too much. Stuff. Gold is easier to carry. Do we have to give them all? Probably. Alright. I'm ready if you need me. Almost done. All right, we got it. And now we got to unlock. If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Look at all these. All these venoms. Oh, we oh my really god. Sell some all of right, this give stuff. that to her. Gold is easier to carry. Anything else? Not here. I'm ready if you need me. All right, thieves tools and three, four, five, six, seven, eight potions. What's behind her that's blowing up? I don't know, but let's go over here. Oh, Variac is over there. So what happened to the other initiates? Did they die? So what's on the other side, a dragon? Something that's exploding. I think we can time this. So we're gonna have to get to this door over here. So we might as well. Oh, nope, we don't wanna do that. Let's close that door. Let's deal with Very Act first. Where are you going? Oh wait, that's because I clicked up there. Derp. I didn't realize you could go up there. Yeah. Who are you attacking? Oh, you locked a door. Easy. to attack.
Yeah, why don't you come over here and help out, huh? Is this guy invisible? Enemies approach. Be prepared. Another enemy. Hopefully one well stopped. Gold equipped. Ah, oh, we got another assassin over there. Well, why don't we come back, go into stealth mode, let's equip our bow, and then we'll see if we can't get a sneak attack. Alright, this guy's almost dead. There he goes. All right, looks like you want to attack this guy over there. What do we have here? Ah, chain shirt plus two, adamantine short sword, 53 gold pieces, potion of cat's grace. I'm overloaded. Grab everything. Who's wearing a chain shirt? Is that you? Your dex is four. What's the advantage of this? Your height and move silently are improved by two. How about? Can uh, you carry? No, you cannot. That should be easy enough. How about if you give the leather armor to him? Still no. How about that? There we go. Gods curse you! And we gotta get rid of this thing. Can you carry it? Very good. Let's drink a potion. Looks like we're being poisoned here, so. You can't touch me, amateur. Might as well give it up. All right, where's your treasure bag at? Direct me. Out of the way. Give me that. Gauntlets. Gloves of the Rogue. Ah, I like this. I'm. A I'll take the lead. What am I wearing? Leather gloves. Yeah, we're dropping these. We don't need them. All right, it looks like there's still, like, a poison fog going on over here. I guess we will have to go this way. At least we got very X key. We're gonna have to time this. No one is encumbered. We're gonna go after this one goes past. Let's just go. Might get injured. Why am I stuck? Right. Ah, we made it. Let's switch back to our melee weapon. So we're gonna have to talk to these fools. I greet you. Hmm. I was only making fun when I suggested some of you initiates might survive the game. And yet here you are making me look like an idiot, along with all the night masks you have dispatched. Of course, you're not really an, an initiate, are you? Care to chat a bit before we cross blades? Whichever one of us prevails would likely appreciate a little information to take away from this. Whereas the one who doesn't will hardly be in a position to regret any lost secrets. What do you want to talk about? Hmm, I won't bother asking your name as it's not something I'm willing to own my, to myself. However, perhaps you could tell me what you're doing here. Alright, let's just tell him. I followed one of your initiates, Darius Falgar, here at the behest of Captain Finnish. Ah, so the City Watch believed him to be a serious candidate to join the Night Mask as an assassin. We'll have to be careful not to underestimate Captain Finnish's incompetence in the future. I'd like to quiz you more, but the day grows long. 
Would you like to ask me a question before we do battle? All right, let's ask you about the mask. What can you tell me about this mask? And we'll show him the domino mask. Hmm, it appears to be a common domino mask, the kind used by the night mask to identify themselves to their enemies. I take it there's more to it than that, however, or you wouldn't be asking. Sorry, but I can't be much help to you there. Now I'm afraid it's time to part ways, one of us continuing to slog along in the land of the living while the other soars in the afterlife. I must say that I didn't expect you or any other mortal to be able to avoid the traps I laid. However, they did serve one purpose. They bought me time to call in reinforcements. You did very well for yourself this night, madam. Now you are to have the distinct honor of being killed by a group of the finest assassins on the Dragon Coast. When it's all over, I'll be proud to display your head on my mantle. Thank the gods. You're finally going to shut up and fight? Yes, thank the gods, my friend. Always a good practice before dying. Night masks, attack! Alright, let's see if we can... I can be able to kill these guys. That should be easy enough. How about you do some healing? With that. Ah, there are the vermin. Are you gonna now. cast a spell or not? There we go. Is this guy almost dead or what? Come on, make another attack. Did someone die? Yeah, we killed the instructor. There goes that one. All right, we got one left. All right, good job, Renara. Let's grab all this stuff. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. A wand of sleep. Oh, I probably should have been using my wands. Dang it. Well. I'm overloaded. All right. Well, we'll worry about encumbrance later. Right now, let's just grab everything here. Potions, gold, and there's one more. A potion and some gold. Any treasure in here? No. Is this the exit? It sure is. All right, but we are really, really running up on time. So before we get out of here, we'll end the e well, blah. we'll end the episode and save. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and Tango Windia.